Still in St. Mary, there is another appeal for adults to better protect children from sexual and violent crimes. This as rape continues to increase in the parish. Krista Campbell has her story. The St. Mary police say there's been a decline in murders, shootings and break-ins so far this year compared to the corresponding period last year. And they have cleared up or solved over 60% of the serious crimes committed in the parish. Acting Commanding Officer Deputy Superintendent Kevin Francis says Anata Bay was a challenging area. A small gang feud or a small feud that resulted in a murder several shootings and woundings. Nonetheless, the players are known. We are currently pursuing those individuals and we have undertaken several other strategies that are currently working. But sexual offenses like rape continue to pose a challenge and children are still frequent targets. And we're seeing where the ages between four and 17 are affected by these sexual crimes. I want to use this opportunity to reach out to parents, caregivers, we want to reach out to the men. We have also seen based on our statistics that men feature heavily in these type of offenses. We're looking at the taxi operators, we're looking at the pastors, we're looking at businessmen, construction workers. We're saying to you, we're condemning those dastardly acts of rape, buggery and sexual crimes against our, our children. At a meeting with colleagues on Friday, Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson noted rape cases are down everywhere else in the island and so the issue needs to be urgently addressed in St. Mary. He's also concerned about the spate of violent crimes against children in Jamaica, noting a case-by-case -case analysis. There are a few at 17, 16, 17. Some of those were gang members and so ended up in that sort of conflict. But I'm talking about like 12 young kids, 12 and under, killed by somebody who was, who they had, who had charge of them, or who should have been cared for by them. The police are urging persons to report sexual offenses, especially against children, and for stakeholders like the Municipal Corporation, Chamber of Commerce, and the church to do more to help protect them. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.